So we're gonna start a new unit today on matrices. So today is just gonna be an introduction to what a matrix is, what it looks like, how it's classified, what its dimensions are, and the elements. So first is the definition of a matrix. A matrix, matrix is singular, matrices is plural. A matrix is a rectangular array array of numbers written within brackets. So a matrix is just a bunch of numbers in a rectangular pattern. The numbers, maybe there's a pattern to them, maybe there's not, but it's just a rectangular array of numbers written within brackets, and it's the square brackets. It's represented by a capital letter. So capital A, capital B, capital C, capital, doesn't matter and classified by its dimensions. The dimensions are written rows by columns. So dimensions are rows and then columns. Rows go side to side, columns go up and down. So rows go side to side, columns go up and down. So let's look at example one. In example one, we have matrix A has these six numbers in it. We'll ignore that little A, two, three, and we'll get to that in a second. So A, this matrix A, has two rows. So two rows, the rows go side to side. So there's two rows and three columns. Rows go side to side, columns go up and down. So we call this matrix a two by three. So this matrix is a two by three, and we just write that two x three, two by three. It's a two by three matrix because there's two rows and three columns. So it's a two by three matrix because there's two rows and three columns. When we write dimensions, we always write it rows and then columns. It's just a rule. Now let's talk about this little A23 that's here. That A23 is the element in matrix A. So it's the element in matrix A in row two, column three. So A23 means look at the A matrix, and you're looking at the second row, third column. So second row, second row is right there. Third column is that column right there. So what's in the second row, third column? Second row, third column is eight. So A23 equals eight. Done. So matrix A is a two by three because there's two rows and three columns, and A23 is eight because that refers to the second row, third column. So let's look at number two. We have a new matrix A. We're going to start with rows and columns and dimensions, and then we're gonna get into A13, A31, and A23. So we'll ignore those for right now. Take a look at matrix A. How many rows does matrix A have? Rows are across, so there's row one, there's row two, there's row three. So three rows. How many columns does matrix A have? There's column one, column two, column three. So three rows, three columns. That means its dimensions are three by three. So to write the dimensions, whatever the rows are, X, the columns. That X is just that word by. When we say three by three, that's just that X. So it's a three by three matrix because there's three rows and three columns. Now we have to do all these elements. A13. A13 means row one, 
Column three. Row one, column three is seven. There's a one three. Um, my paper's getting really squished, sorry. So A31, A31 is not the same as A13. So I'm gonna do this in orange. A31 means row three, column one, because it's always rows, columns. Row three, column one is a three. So I want you to pause the video for a second and I want you to do A23 on your own. So pause the video, do A23 on your own. A23 means row two, third column. So row two, column three is eight. So pause the video and I want you to try example three on your own. How many rows, how many columns, what are the dimensions, and then do B13 and B22. So how many rows does matrix B have? It has one row, one row going across, and there's three columns. Ugh, I can't spell columns there, sorry. So one row, three columns, so it is a one by three. So it's a one by three because you have to do rows and then columns. B13 means row one, column three. So B13 would be zero. B22 means row two, column two. Do we have a row two? No, we don't have a row two, so B22 does not exist. So in this first section, you're just looking at the matrix that you're given, deciding how many rows it has, how many columns it has, and writing the dimensions. Remember, it's always rows and then columns. And then you're finding specific elements. And again, those specific elements, you have to look in the row first, then the column. So example four is a real life example of a matrix. We've got four different football teams, the New England Patriots, New York Jets, the Buffalo Bills, the Miami Dolphins, their wins, the losses, and the percent won. So we took all that information for those four, bat for those four football teams and organized it into a matrix. The question here is what does A32 mean? A32 means row three, column two. So go to row three. Here's row three. Go to column two. What number is in that spot? Eight. So A32 is eight. What does that eight mean in this matrix? This matrix is not just random numbers. What does that eight mean in this matrix? It means that the Buffalo Bills had eight losses or ties. And we're just gonna put losses. The next question there is A13. A13 means row one column three. So row one, column three is 75.0. So A13 equals 75. But what does that 75 mean in terms of this matrix? It means that the New England Patriots won 75% of their games. So matrices can be used for real life 
data to organize it. That's what matrices are used for. It's kind of like a spreadsheet. It's to organize data so that it's all together and neat and you can see it all. We use it in math for systems and that's what we're gonna get ready to do in the next few days. But it's also just used to organize any kind of information. The next thing we're gonna do is called scalar multiplication. So it's a weird name for distributing. So scalar multiplication is a weird name for distribution with matrices. So I've given you these three matrices, A, B, and C. Example four is 2A. So that means I'm gonna do two times my entire matrix A. So two times my entire matrix. And I just distribute, 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 distribute. and keep things lined up. Matrices do not use commas or anything like that. It's all about spacing. So keep your spacing so that it's all lined up correctly. So 2A just means take all of the elements of matrix A and multiply them by two. So number five, negative three B means negative three times all of matrix B. So scalar multiplication is just like distributive property. So I'm gonna take negative three, distribute, distribute, distribute. And there's my answer. So pause the video and try number six on your own. And again, matrices don't use commas. It's all about spacing. So make sure your spacing is right and everything is lined up. So 4C just means four times all of the elements of matrix C. So you're just doing four times five and that 20 goes in the same spot the five was in. Four times negative six, that negative 24 goes in the same spot the negative six was in. So the things aren't moving around, they're staying in those same spots.